Hi, we're here today to repair a uh, Valley uh, lamp driver board. This is a lamp, uh, lamp driver board from a Valley pinball machine from the uh, covering the years from 1977 to 1983. Um, all the Valley pins of the era use the same lamp driver board and uh, Stern as well. Actually, uh, pins from that era use the same lamp driver board. It'll look uh, a little different, but it's totally the same board and they're completely interchangeable. Um, the lamp driver uh, for your illumination on your pinball machine comes in two flavors. There's the general illumination, which is when you flip the switch on and uh, the lights come on, that's the general illumination. Then after a bit, you'll see some of the lamps flashing on and off, and that's your control illumination. And this board here controls all of those, uh, all of those lamps, and each lamp has a specific transistor that uh, controls it and turns it on and off. Now, in this case, um, we have two transistors that are down, and uh, we cheat. We use a belly a tester to test these boards out and find the transistors that are bad. But before you go that route, um, the first thing you want to look at is the lamp, lamp itself, obviously. Make sure the lamp is uh, good. Make sure the lamp socket's okay, because sometimes they're bent in funny ways. And then you want to check the connectors itself. And the connect by the connector itself, we mean the connectors that plug into here. These connectors here usually don't fail, but the, uh, the ones that plug in, the pins in there can snap off with age or sometimes from acid damage. So, but we've, che we've, checked all you, you, we've checked all that, that wasn't the problem. Took the board, put it on the tester, and found that two of the transistors are bad. Now, if you don't have the luxury of having a valley tester like we do, that's what you have your manual for. Um, if you don't have your manual for your pin, you can order them online. They're, they have reprints that are readily available from a number of sources. And in this case, it's a KISS manual, and we want to go to the back here, where all these schematic pages, which are yellow here, and the page you want to find is this page here. This is your lamp driver schematic and conveniently it lists all of the um, lamps that are controlled lamps on your pin. So what you want to do is find a lamp that's bad, like let's say it's the yellow K, you trace back and you find out that's Q13. So Q13 is your bad transistor, you go to the board here, they are all conveniently labeled, there's Q13 right there, so that's um, the transistor that's gone bad on you. Now your uh, transistors come in two flavors. There's uh, MCR 106s and 2N uh, 5060s. I always forget, yeah, 2N 5060s. And uh, the, in this particular case, um, this board has one of each that's bad. Um, the 57, which is uh, there, and then 49, which is right there. So what your transistors look like, the 2N5060s are the short stubby guys here and yeah, so. well uh, that's, that's what they look like, your replacements look identical. Now the MCR106s uh, come in two flavors. Um, the ones, these, this type here looks just like the ones on the board here, but the more common ones you're going to find are these, I guess they're called C106s, at least that's what that one's labeled. That's, that's what you're going to find more commonplace today. So what we're going to do is Basically, I've got my solder sucker here and the solder iron ready to go. We're going to basically pull the solder off of these two uh, transistors, put the new ones in, solder them up, put it on the tester, verify that everything's okay, and we'll be good to go. So that's uh, Lamp Driver Board Repair 101 for the Bally uh, 7783 era pinball machines.